was an easy one. Look at him. Is he gonna frill up on you? I don't know. But. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> you gotta let him, gotta let him gas out of the back of gas. This time of year, they all sit there and they just look at the, the clouds. Like, the frillinac lizards must get hypnotized by the clouds and they just sit there looking at them. That's how Connor could grab him so easy, but he's chilled out pretty quick. Ooh. Ooh. There he goes. He's a swimmer. <laughs> oh, well, we're just cruising up to um, where we're gonna go fishing and diving, but there's the biggest black storm crowd in front of us, so hopefully we can get there. But. Yeah, I just thought we'd jump out and grab that frilly real quick. Righto guys, well we just got to our spot, set up the camp, and then this snake ended up in our camp. Settle down, settle down. Big olive python just uh, decided he wanted to make an appearance and crawl into our swag. Off on the beach. <laughs> settle down. Yeah, there's a big storm in the background, so probably firing off. It's pretty hot weather, so... These olive pythons get um, mistaken a lot as big eastern browns and king the... browns because they got that colour of a snake that um, people think are bad. They don't look a lot like a python, but a lot of people kill them. But yeah, they're just a big, yeah, he's out a big swamp python or an olive python. python. They got a yellow, yellow belly, which looks a bit like a brown snake as well. So but there you go. They're pretty crazy little critters. Doesn't yeah. mean they won't try and bite you, but. <laughs> he's sort of chilling out now, but just gotta let him know that you're not trying to harm him. Cameron's better at them, they always try to bite me. <laughs> oh, they've bitten me plenty of times too. This is but, it when now and then when they're figuring out what they need to do. But there's our camp. Poor, he's let his little stink go. <laughs> there's our camp. And uh, <laughs> there's the snake, so. There he goes. He stunk me out too much. <laughs> he, oh, he's mungered on me. What <laughs> he shit on you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh well, we'll see you in the morning. Just a little bit of action before we go to bed. <laughs> We, we got absolutely hammered last night. We went to bed after you seen us grab that snake. Jumped straight into bed, laid down for about an hour. Then I started hearing thunder, lightning, the wind picked up, and then it just got crazy. It just rained for like an hour and a half straight, like heavy rain. There's water coming into me swag. Kind of got absolutely drenched in his little stretcher thing that we had, he had. I don't even know why. we didn't go home because we're not even that far from home <laughs> yeah. we just wanted an early like we'll just camp there for a night early start we should have stayed at home and come here but no more so anyway we we pushed through that and uh hopefully the river that we got across to get home is not flooded like anything which i'm i'm sort of thinking it is because we had a lot of rain last night so we're gonna have to wait and see without this afternoon when we head back but um, we end up punching out to a little island not far off the coast and um, it looks clean enough to dive so we're just going to wait for the sun to come up a bit more but there's a massive storm still like out in the distance we can hear it rumbling so we're, we're really just hoping that doesn't come and rape our little buttholes but uh, going to have some breakfast, gear up, jump in so follow along. Oh guys we're just sounding around on the first little reef that we're going to stop at for the day and um, Hopefully we can find some isolated rocks and pick up a red or a big jack maybe but um If there's any episode you should be watching it's this one because this is some of our favorite country to dive out here and we should get some Cracker fish so stay tuned and uh see how we go. Well, we think we found the first spot What do you reckon jocks? A bit of fluff on the bottom. It's probably a good little spot maybe for a red but I won't say anything too soon Yep, so we're just chucking the rubbers on the aim right rollers and jumping in. So stay tuned. Thank you. 
Big dog Spanish. Woo He'd nearly be cracking 20, eh, I reckon. What a bloody donkey. Biggest Spanish I've got for a while. On the new aim right, MV <laughs> roller, 95. 95, took him out. Good for the coast and for the reef. Stonker. Woo! Let's move on, big bull sharks. jumped in on that little spot you would have just seen jacks everywhere in the videos took this fella he wasn't the biggest jack there but we were hoping there was going to be a big red or something so we were swimming around for quite a while and this fella ended up showing himself and i just took him because of good eating size but we've got plenty of fish at home at the moment so we're not really out here to fill the aski but trying to get some trophy fish but this fella won't be too bad eating and uh we'll keep moving on but we left probably what were there would have been 15 20 jacks there yeah it was insane yeah. amount. there was there was heaps more i reckon like we're seeing different schools yeah we would been super sustainable day so much fish at home in the freezer so not taking much more than we need so we're just going to keep popping around and hopefully find the trophy fish
Well, you would have seen that sick footage just then of um, there was just jacks everywhere. Like I dived down and there would have been six, maybe seven jacks, probably all around that 65 centimeter range. And then in between all the jacks are just heaps of big trout. But like we said before, we're not out here to slay it. Connor got one pretty solid one. Uh, that's starting to get onto that, a that's, yeah he's probably around 70 something that that jack yeah i've seen it like that seen heaps of other ones i just seen him sort of pop out of the shallows i was like yeah he's a bit better big solid head on him so cracking him another one and that's yes. what we're here for them big trophy fish today so hopefully we're hunting some big tusky like real big tusky so hopefully we get a few it's beer o'clock i don't even know what the time is but it's beer o'clock when you're out here fishing but we're probably, uh, we've got two big jacks and about a 20 kilo Spanish for the morning. We're gonna dive one more spot, the wind's starting to kick up, so we'll jump in there. And then plan is shoot back to the coast and we might do a bit of barra fishing for the RV before we head off, before the rain starts and uh, we get flooded here, which we probably already are, so. <laughs> well, I've just punched down the coast a little bit now and the viz is looking really good. So we're gonna have a jump in here. There was a bit of bait stacked up before, so hopefully there's gonna be a few trophy fish hanging around. straight up then he just comes straight back in I just hit it hit him a little bit high but still not a bad holding shot and come back with the goods Woo! we boosted in from the island to a little creek there's beaches either side of this creek and it's just in the middle of nowhere and it's in the wet season it runs a tannin color and the fish school up massively in here so we're gonna flick lures and see if we can get a few bar jacks finger mark bar season's open so it's free game a school of 30 fish sitting back on this snag back here. I'm try to creep back very quietly. Wait, what are they? That was a Monday. Oh, school of Mondays. <laughs> Jack? Yeah, there was all sorts of sizes in there. We hung absolutely perfect. You can see all the barrows stacked up there like that. All about this size. The little juvenile Jack compared to what we're getting today. Look at the fish! Is that right? Look at this big one on the first run. 
putting the shimmer on. It's got a bit of a bent towel, so I don't know how it's gonna go, but we'll sling it in. A little crack. Instantly. Oh, I was trying to keep it out of the snag. I think it's Jack, to be honest. That's a big fish. Not huge, I don't think. No, not huge, it's alright. <laughs> and he's on. Another one bites the dust. That's all she wrote. Pretty decent fish. Fish of the day. Uh, you've been upgrading, haven't you? Fuck, he's solid. He's like 85. Probably a bit. Probably, yeah, 87. Mm. Just got this big girl on a gold vibe. Just gonna chuck it back in, hopefully. Good. 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 Straight up. Sweet. Another big one. We got about a 2k drive down the beach to where we're gonna pull the boat out from this creek. And we're going to pull out and then start cruising home. Hopefully we can get across this little creek that usually floods in a big storm. But it's looking like it's the right way, so we should get oh, home. We just made it in time. Loaded up the boat. Loaded up all the gear and uh, got out of there because there's a big storm right behind us. And we've just got out in time. I think we're going to make it back home, thank God. So we'll probably see us back at home filleting some fish. It's sort of just starting to get dark. So we might um, do it all in the morning, I reckon, because... By the time we get home, uh, it'll be dark and you won't see too much, so we'll see you then. We're back at home cleaning up. Bit of a hectic mish, dodging all them storms to get back last night. That one creek, sometimes you're just stuck there for a whole day straight, but it was all good. Bit of a haul, tusky, good jack. Two more jacks, trout and that big Spanish. We didn't take too much yesterday because we got heaps of fish in the freezer and you want to leave your rocks and spots as good, like as much fish on them as possible so when you go back the next time it's always the same and that's what we try and do so hope you guys enjoyed this episode like subscribe drop comment and we'll see you next week